You wanted to know how you should get your baby to sleep in her crib as a newborn without sleep training her because she still needs to wake up at night and be fed every two to three hours. And this is a good question. And the answer is simple, but that doesn't mean that it's simple to do it. You just need to put her in her crib or her bassinet or separate sleeping area and let her get used to it. And anything that you persistently and consistently enforce for four to seven days for a baby will be accepted as a new norm. And so you just need to put her in her crib or in her bassinet when it's time to go to sleep. If she's been fed and changed and loved, then you can let her cry for five or 10 minutes as she adjusts to the crib. And you can incrementally increase the amount of time you wait before you respond to her. So the first night, you might wait five or 10 minutes before you, you go get her and calm her down and put her back down. The next night, you might wait 10 to 15 minutes. And the next night, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. But again, remember that you need to respond to her if it's the appropriate time for her to eat again so that you're teaching her how to sleep in her crib but not neglecting her when she needs those nighttime feedings and a newborn does need to eat every two to three hours. You also need to make sure that your partner is on board with this too, because the American Academy of Pediatrics not only rec recommends the baby sleeps in a separate sleeping area from you, like a crib or a bassinet, but they should also be in the same room with you for the first months of life. And so you might find that getting like a dressing screen or something is helpful so that they can't see you. And it feels like they're in a different area while still in your room. But if your partner's not on board with this and they go pick your baby up after you've been trying to enforce the fact that they need to sleep in their crib or separate sleeping area, it will basically just take you back to square one and it will take longer to teach them how to sleep in their crib. You may find it easier to teach your baby how to sleep in their own separate sleeping area during the day when you're not trying to get sleep too. Just make sure you're avoiding the temptation to bring them in bed with you. And again, it's okay for them to cry a little bit. Just be sure you're responding to them when they need to eat or if they have immediate needs. If they're just crying because they wanna get out of the crib, then it's okay to let them cry. Good luck with everything. And if you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.